Good morning, Harmony and Consolidated. This is Mr. Calvert to you, coming to you from his backyard again. Um, I hope that you are all having a good day. I miss you all so much. Um, love you all too. Don't forget that. Um, don't forget that we are coming out with an art project twice a week. So make sure to look for that every um, Sunday as well as every Friday. So that gives you a few days to complete those things as well as anything else that your classroom teachers have for you. Um, today, our new artist of the day, there are actually two of them, and their names are, let me bring this up, their names are Gustavo and Octavio Pandolfo, but they don't typically go by their real names. They actually go by the name Os Gemios, and Os Gemios is Portuguese, which is a different kind of language, and it's Portuguese for the twins. And that's because these two artists are identical twins, which means that they look exactly the same. Um, and they are both 46 years old, and they are both from Sao Paulo, Brazil. So this is actually our third set of artists that are from Sao Paulo. We talked about Eduardo Cobra, as well as Victor Munez. Um, so lots of good artists coming out of Sao Paulo, which is pretty cool. So as I said, we call them as gemios. Oftentimes when we look at um, street artists like these two, they go by a different name. And this is partly to help hide their identity um, because typically when these artists are starting off, they don't want to know who is making the artwork. They don't want the cops to find out it's them because then they would know who to arrest. So as I just said, they are both street artists, which means that they actually go around and make paintings on the street or on the sides of buildings. Now these two, because of the size of their artworks, it takes a very long time. So they are, their artwork's probably closer to like a mural where a lot of times they're hired to come in and make the artwork because of the large size of it. It would just be take them way too long to try and make something um, without the cops catching them. And they kind of knew from a young age that they kind of thought very similarly. They actually talked about how um, growing up, they would draw on the same sheet of paper and they would be able to finish each other's works. Kind of like how we talk about how if you know somebody really well, you can finish their sentence. They said that these two were able to like finish each other's drawings because they kind of thought the same, which probably um, has something to do with them being identical twins. Now here is Sao Paulo down here in Brazil. We are right up here in Wisconsin, the tip of my uh, mouse right there. So when we look at their works, you can always tell it's a Osgemios painting because of the yellow skin. And they said this yellow skin actually came from some dreams that they both used to have. So once again, they're kind of thinking on the same brainwave. Um, and in their dreams, they would always envision these people that had yellow skin. So then they started to bring these people to life. Um, and they're also oftentimes inspired by hip hop, um, which is like a kind of um, music. But oftentimes people that we see in those uh, music videos, oftentimes they are like wearing certain things. And that's because these two were both break dancers. So they used to um, break dance. I don't think they do anymore. Um, here we see a really large mirror. Look at how big it is. It's the size of this building. And if I remember correctly, this is actually a school. So I imagine how cool that'd be to have your... Um, this mural painted on the side of your school. This is out in Brooklyn, if I remember correctly. I actually got to see this one when I was out there um, in college. So this is actually the only Osgemios mural I've ever seen in person. Um, pretty cool to see the size of it. I want you to notice the shorts and the patterns on it. This isn't just random shapes and colors. These shorts are actually made up of different flags from all over the world, which I find really cool that they are um, kind of acknowledging um, all these different countries, which is really neat. Um, here we see actual self-portraits of the two of them. So they went and recreated themselves in their style with that bright yellow skin and kind of the fun patterning on their shirts that we oftentimes see. Um, you can even see too how their um, little satchels actually appear to be people too, especially this one on the left, how it's got the yellow skin like we're used to seeing. Um, also notice too how oftentimes their proportions or the way that people are drawn isn't quite accurate. A lot of times we'll see that the arms are really long and skinny, um, skinnier than what they should be. And same as like the shoulders are oftentimes um, way skinnier than what they should be. I um, mean, here's another large mural of a person wearing like a turban or maybe a burqa, I think is what they call those. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, once again, we see a lot of those patterns that we see on the pants and on the shirts. We notice that with the self portraits of each other. These were some silos that they, that were painted. I believe silos are like grain bins. Um, 
painted in a city. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So they actually did six of them, and two of them appear to be facing the other direction. But we see um, those use of patterns again. This one's got lots of different faces on it. Patterns, patterns on the pants here and on the satchel. His little pocket looks like one of those faces. Oftentimes, too, they put their people in masks, I've noticed. And then one more. I love this one because of the way they used highlights and shadows. And a highlight is where it looks like the sun is hitting it. And then a shadow is obviously where it looks darker. And the way they were able to use those to actually make this painting look like it's coming out of the wall. So this is not a sculpture that's coming out of the wall. This is painted onto a flat wall. But the way that they painted it gives it that look like it's actually like he's coming out of the wall. And then you can see here, he's got a spray can in his hand as if he's going to do some graffiti or street art similar to Os, uh, the Osgemios twins. All right, well, I hope you guys have a good day. That was Osgemios, and I hope that you enjoyed learning about them. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe. Love you.